bless. I don't sleep on no beef. We ain't sleeping no books. You know I'm on top of everything. Book. Lurk, run grass. And they don't shoot cribs. They gon' give you one chance. What? Like, book. come outside or we gon' come in. Boy, <laughs> when I pull up and make them catch a lot. <laughs> Blue beam on that top. Come ain't, come ain't hot. I throw them dragon balls at you like I'm Kakarot. <laughs> I know you guys been waiting for my opinion on this film because everyone has uploaded a video about it but me uh, because a porn person that I really care about decided to hang out with me today and I honestly couldn't say no I really care about her so some people are more important than anime and YouTube right now so but I'm finally here and um, I got a lot to say man and before I even get on to like just just really this is gonna be me fanboying over the trailer um, I still feel sorry for people who are honestly that kind of just disheartened type of people that are really hoping for this movie just to be bad because they just don't like current Dragon Ball so they want things just to validate their hatred for the series uh, honestly you can leave like even people like Tyro Magnus is enjoying all this and he's he's someone that I don't even like but people in this community are honestly hoping that this movie is bad so they can validate their their opinion of saying current Dragon Ball is bad like literally just get a life that's just annoying to me but yeah, I love how I start off on a negative note, but this trailer was fantastic, man. And the best parts of this trailer was really Takahashi. <laughs> it's funny because everyone's praising these new designs, even I am, but literally in the trailer, the old Yamamoto designs from the Boost Saga was the best part of the trailer. <laughs> uh, amazing stuff. And um, I got the dub, I heard the dub and Japanese version. I'm mostly hyped for the dub version because um, I was watching the live uh, the live stream of Anime AJ and pretty much just sitting there with my salt of hearing him pretty much disrespecting everything I love. <laughs> Making fun of like like Sean Jumbo and other people just saying that they're not really into the dub and stuff like that. And so far, it looks really amazing. Especially the dubbing sounds really good. Granted, they're going towards meme territory because Broly, he's getting stronger. But um, what can I say? Let's break this all down because the trailer pretty much starts off with... Um, Goku kind of confirming this is after the Universal Survival Saga. And also another thing that's getting on my nerve, I just want to talk about is that uh, I was listening to Roofmonger saying that Goku is just pretty much admitting that he's, he's inadequate. Ah, that's that's annoying because Goku has gotten so much stronger since then and his blue should be really more powerful. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that. So, um, yeah, Goku's pretty much, and he looks kind of weirdish, really. Like, I don't know, the design still kind of look weird to me. Maybe it's just kind of jarring because I'm not used to it. Because we go from that to, like, Goku and Vegeta are, like, in the icy area with their jackets. And they look straight out of the Boo Saga again with Takahashi doing his work. And we see, um, Broly and his, his father there who looks like Buzz Lightyear that I've seen in some memes. And once Broly walks in, he just comes in just glowing with aura. And uh, we see a bunch of different designs as well because we see base Broly, then we see like angry Broly where he has like yellow eyes. And this Broly's fighting blue Goku and yellow like Super Saiyan Go Vegeta and everything. And it's funny how Vegeta is smiling like, yeah, I'm ready for a fight. We all know he's going to get wrecked. <laughs> That is funny to me, because, like, Vegeta, he's, like, he's going to be the first one to fight Broly, and he's going to be the first one who gets wrecked. But um, we pretty much get different shots of, like, also, we see Golden Frieza in Noki Taite's weirdest art, which is pretty cool. And we even get a callback where Broly runs up to him and, like, knocks him away with a key blast. I just, I wonder, because they're even calling him the Legendary Saiyan, so I'm going to assume that they're going to, you know, retcon Berserker Super Saiyan back to Legendary Super Saiyan. And uh, we just see different scenes of, like, pretty much Broly fighting Vegeta, and just Takahashi's art is fantastic. I love every scene with it. It's honestly the best parts of this trailer. But uh, we even see Super Saiyan God Goku, where he's looking young as hell, which is pretty crazy. And I know a lot of fans are mad because they didn't see Gohan. Like, again, man, people are just reaching for straws to be mad, man. Like, everything about this, like, this new bro's design is fantastic. Like, the only thing that's kind of weird is that the new design is just something to get used to, but whoa man and we get some scenes from like i think like dragon ball like minus type material showing like like a kaba looking saiyan with like um broly's dad and stuff so we could probably get some background um scenes about broly then most of the trailer ends with like goku fighting broly with this weirdest cgi scene that i really didn't want to see but hey cgi is going to be in this film and goku pretty much looking like he did against jiren with his shirt off and i'm telling you that this is going to end with Goku going Ultra Instinct versus Broly. Like, I don't even know if Gogeta is going to show up in this film. Because it looks like Vegeta's already knocked the F out by now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. I rate this trailer a 10 out of 10 for obvious bias. Because I love Dragon Ball so 
so much. And um, honestly, I want to talk about the Boruto uh, episode as well after I finish this review. Um, but tell me what you guys think about this trailer, man. Was it what you wanted? I waited through a live stream of listening to people say opinions that I don't even like. Granted, I love their art and content. I respect them as people. But man, hearing opinions you don't like for a long time, just waiting for a trailer can really mess with you. And um, I just want to like let you guys know that like you you don't have to like this movie, man. You can like be one of those people that's kind of like wanting this movie to be bad to validate your opinion. Just just know that I don't really agree with you, and it kind of frustrates me. It's like you kind of like force that upon the whole community. That just that's just annoying. I don't really believe in forcing negativity to a community because you want everyone to feel like you're feeling. Like let everyone you know enjoy enjoy it regardless of the story, or whatever. Because right now. We're not really seeing like a smart Broly. We still, I still feel like he's being controlled in some way because even his dad is saying, "Go Broly!" and Broly even really say like a one line on here. But I'm hoping Broly, you know, talks and you know sounds like smart or whatever. Um, and also, I want to kind of break down the designs as well because we see like Broly. He has like four different forms. He has like base. Then he has like yellow eyes. Then he has like buffer yellow eyes. Then he goes like Super Saiyan. Then legendary Super Saiyan. Then we see Vegeta. He actually goes Super Saiyan God, which is really cool. But it also kind of adds questions like, did Vegeta go through the ritual or did he just unlock Super Saiyan God through training with Whis? Because Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue is literally Super Saiyan God going Super Saiyan. So it makes sense, but it's just also like why he did not use that form in the Universal Bible Saga. Don't know, but I'm glad all the forms are here. Now I'm just really hoping to see Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken or Blue Evolution. I just don't want the series to forget those forms or tech techniques and i'm praying to god ultra instinct comes in and i know people want gogeta in here but hey i am a big ultra instinct fan i think my next video coming up should be like all my favorite forms so you should know where that ranks in my favorite forms and i'm yeah man and i'm also gonna be like um in san japan if you guys are in san antonio i'm gonna be doing that pretty soon i'm gonna have like a mixture of the wis outfit with the capsule court drama heroes outfit that's why i asked that on my community um server but um yeah man let me know what you guys think about this i've been kind of rambling because i just want to catch up with you guys i have a lot on my head and um, even me complaining about stuff that y'all guys really don't even care about so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i can't wait to see this film and yeah son's job peace love you all